Hi, it's Zena, we're Hog Princess, and welcome to another Vera Bradley haul. Just got back from the Columbus Tanger Outlets where my friend and I just went shopping, and um, she has now left, and <laughs> Kelly's got her head in the bag right now. But actually, I'm sharing two hauls our haul from today from the factory outlet, and on the way to the Phoenix Cruiser Rally in Elkhart, Indiana. I did stop at the Vera Bradley flagship store, Jefferson. Uh, point Jefferson Point I think it's called anyways the retail side so I did get a few items from there so that is a, a haul of smalls and then today's haul was a little bit bigger um, so let's start with the retail side since I went there first um, I got the power bank and this is 8,000 milliamps which is pretty cool and charging cord included is compatible with iPhone 8 pin, Android, micro, USB, and USB-C. It is in Rose Toil. It was on sale for, I think you can get them online as well. The, the sale items, I think, are 50% off right now, so that's a good deal. Um, I also, in the same pattern, the Rose Toil got this little clip and zip. I think that's what it's called. And it is a breast cancer pattern. Clip and zip mini pouch, yeah. So it's kind of like a larger, it's like an old coin purse size actually. But it zips a little bit around the corner so you can get good access. And inside you have two card slots on the one side. But it's nice little padded. So I use these for a grab and go wallet or um, tech case, whatever. But you can open it up. You cannot take the wristlet strap off it's hooked it's sewn in on one side but you can clip it so there you go we've seen these before it's not new but I just I hope I didn't already have this pattern I kind of feel like I maybe did but you can see the pretty flowers and a dark almost like a deep teal or anyways it's pretty so I got it and then in Newer patterns, I got Dreamer Paisley luggage tag because I think this might go pretty well with my Moonlight Garden and my Midnight Blues. I'm seeing this little stripe on here. It looks like, hmm, like a silver stripe. It looks like something etched on from the thing. It came off. Anyways, it's just the retail side luggage tag. So it is that vinyl coated fabric. So these are pretty durable. I've had really good luck with these. Um, it's the newer style, so it's sewed in. It doesn't have the grommet. Uh, but anyways, there's that. And this actually has a Kohl's.com tag on it. It is weird. Maybe it's a return for somebody or something. And then in the same pattern, I got the AirPods bag charm. So you can kind of see it's some pretty florals and it's not a perfect match but I think it might go with those so I got that just littles I did spend a good amount of time shopping so I will put together a shop with me video with all the pictures I took in that store all the new leather and things like that um, and I do have some leather waiting for me when I get home I ordered it um, and had it shipped there because I was transiting but this is another new pattern. This is the new breast cancer pattern, or the partner pattern anyways. This is the Botanical Ditzy. There is a Botanical Paisley, I think it's called, or something like that, but anyways, I liked the Ditzy colors. And the interior pattern is the same, so it's kind of just the Ditzy, but I really like the Ditzy. And I got the combined Zip ID lanyard piece. I really didn't need any more of these, but I've been on a kick and I really wanted something in this pattern, so I grabbed just this. Um, but yeah, so it's really, it's pretty. It's a black background with just these um, sort of pastel florals is really what it is. With a little bit brighter pink thrown in there. So that is it for the retail haul. So pretty small. There you go. All right, but the outlet from today. Random assortment of items. I always grab these little things that have info in them. This one is backpacks and lunch boxes, so it has all the dimensions of the different types of things available. And I like to hold on to these because y'all ask questions and I don't have every single style, although I mostly do. 
but this helps me answer some of those questions about proportions and what the things that I don't have anyway always grab those um, I got the large notebook in the um, hanging around purple um, if you're not familiar this same pattern came out on the retail side first and had like a teal background and this is the factory style pattern which has a purple background they're both quite lovely so I've been um, I might already have this I can't remember so I bought it anyways you can never have too much paper I use paper a lot um, in that same pattern I got a few other items again not sure what I may have but if I do already have any of these things it'll just get rolled over to the gift pile or sell pile or whatever um, this is the little uh, hair accessories kit I just love this size of a pouch it's really great for purses and bags um, so I open it up and it has some hair accessories in it it comes with the uh, telephone cord scrunchy thing and then a headband and a scrunchie in the pattern so it comes with those three pieces inside nice addition to my uh, hair accessories but mostly I just want it for the pouch so it's a nice little triangular big on the bottom small on the top yeah just a nice size I have a few of these now not a lot of patterns but a few it's okay Kelly someone just drove by crunching on the gravel but She's always on guard, always. Okay, also I got a small wallet. Again, I don't think I have this pattern in this, but sometimes I don't remember. Go figure with the collection, the size that I have. Uh, hanging around purple, small RFID, small bifold wallet. So on the outside, it's just small. There's a beautiful look at those adorable slots. And then it has a chain with a clip on it, so you can fold it out or fold it in. It just folds up the middle has a snap opening it has four card slots on this side a big slip behind it and it has a zipper coin on the other side um, and a slip behind the coin slot so perfect little grab-and-go wallet um, for smaller bags um, you could also put it on, on a lanyard if you wanted or hook it on a wristlet strap or something but there's a look now it's one fold so the fabric is one piece so they're upright there, but if you fold it in half, they look like one half is upside down, but it's nice. Okay, so I got that, and then I got this cord organizer. This is, again, factory style cord organizer, so it's a little smaller, but I really like this size, actually. You open it up, it zips all the way around, and then it can lay flat. That's the scent strip. It's got quite a lot of organization. You have a big slip. This is a solid nylon with the VB diamonds on it. You've got three elastic segments, or sorry, two, a smaller one and a bigger one. So you can put all your cords and your plugs. And then on the other side, you have a mesh zipper pocket. And then you have, again, um, this time it is three segments of different sizes of elastic. So you can put all your cords in there. When you have it partway zipped, like let's say you zip it halfway around, you can also put some stuff in the middle because depending on how you have it packed, it has a little bit of space to it, so you can put some stuff just in the middle too, if you need. Uh, but it's a, it's a good little size, and I won't necessarily always use it for tech stuff, but it's a great size for a backpack and whatnot. Okay, in that pattern, I have one other item. I think I have two of them, but maybe not. Maybe just one, I guess. I thought I had two. But um, the, just a luggage tag. Now, the factory style luggage tags do have the grommet, and sometimes the grommets come apart, but the tag will still hold, just the grommet comes undone from itself, whatever, I don't know why. But they are not plastic coated, so these will get dirty and they're not as wipeable because it's just the cotton fabric on there. Um, but super cute, and I got good pattern placement because I went through them all. I got some good slots on there. Okay, so I think that's it for the slots. I couldn't remember if I had these doggy slippers, but if I do, then they'll go to my sister. But they're the, the, the dog show cozy slippers with the cute little dogs. They have little ears on there. They're the same. They're, they're just super soft, fuzzy with the Sherpa interior. Really comfortable, and they have the no slip dots on the bottom. Super cool. And I got size large. In the dog show, I also got a luggage tag. 
Um, same as we just saw, it's the cotton, not vinyl coated, and it has the grommet. Um, I have a 22 inch spinner in the dog show, or the hard sided spinner, and I thought, well, I might as well have a matching dog um, luggage tag. I don't know if I already had one of these. I don't feel like I did, but I might, but I got it anyway because it has my Lucy, my Lucy one on the front. Now, Lucy was black and this is brown, but that is so her, so. I got it anyways, and a decent assortment of other dogs with it. No Kelly on this one, but that's okay. I have Kelly in real life. Lucy's not here with us anymore. I grabbed a napkin set of four in the Lemon Grove, and they're just cloth napkins, and this is about folded in quarters, so Lemon Grove, and it has the cute little ladybugs and stuff in the pattern. Um, I got these to make pouches out of, because my niece, Kenzie, absolutely love, love, loves the lemon pattern. I think it's pretty, but I don't have anything in it. But I thought if I make myself a little drawstring pouch, that is a way to have a little taste of lemon inside my bags and I can have my happy lemons without being lemon all over. It's the kind of pattern where I really do. I like it a lot, but it's just not my thing. So I didn't buy a lot of lemons for me. But um, yeah, so I got some to add to my sewing stack of things to do. A nice, bright, happy color. Um, okay, other luggage tags that I got. I think this is it. Yeah, so I got, these are in the ultralight fabric, which is like the featherweight of the outlet side. And so these are in dive floral medallion. So this is a newer pattern. I hadn't seen it until today. But it has these sort of watercolor blue flowers. And that one's kind of symmetrical, so I grabbed that one. And that one had a big flower and then a smaller flower. But I really like this pattern placement on those two. And these are kind of that nylon-y fabric. So I think they'll be in between. They're not as robust as the vinyl-coated ones and not as, um, I don't say fragile, but as the cotton ones, it's sort of the in-between, I'm hoping. And these do have grommets as well, and these are plastic grommets. I don't know. We'll see how they hold up. I don't have a specific big bag in these patterns. I usually get one luggage tag and put it on all my backpacks. I may find a backpack. They didn't have any today that I saw at that store. Um, so we'll just keep my eyes open and never know what I'll find later, but I have plain blue bags. And so these also would be good for those. So I let myself get two. I also did get the Medium Cosmetic, which is a little older style, kind of. And by that, I mean it's just a rectangular cube. It zips up and around, and it's just a cube shape. Little rectangle. So basic. The older outlet ones had a little fabric loop right here, so you can grab it vertically out. This doesn't have that, but it is otherwise the old style. But there's no look at that. The pattern, there's the big flower with some of the smaller flowers. Um, but it's just blue. It's not quite a navy blue. It's almost like more of a... I don't want to say slate blue, but kind of. And then the watercolor look. The inside is almost that same dark teal as the rose toil, but on a solid nylon, but it's all plastic lined with the clear plastic. So I really do like this configuration. It has the rubber tag on the front because that's the ultralight style, um, but a nice bag. And when you're not using it, it folds pretty flat. So not bad. Um, so we got that. And then, the Blessings in a Backpack, they did still have some of those. I never did get one, but again, I think this will match with the Midnight Blues and Moonlight Garden. I think, I hope, I mean, I haven't seen them side by side anywhere. So I got a, a, a couple littles and I got the little backpack bag charm because one, I'd forgotten I got the AirPods thing and I thought this would be great for AirPods. But even so, I just think these little backpacks are super cute. They can hold, like this can hold a little bit more larger things than the AirPods case. So show them side by side. Where is it? See, it is slightly larger. This is quilted. This is not. So if you need padding, then this is a better option. But I would say that the AirPods case is about two thirds the size of this. So this is slightly bigger. Um, but it, they both have quick release options. So you clip that on with the quick release. You can see that may be better this way. Yeah. Um, anyway, there you go, and it's on a swivel, so you can straighten it out, and it's just a zipper all the way around, plain nylon inside with the BB diamonds on a navy. 
but there you go and I got the pattern placement with a variety of the flowers okay next and last items I got this is something I had not seen before it looks like packing cubes but they're not these are actually packable shoe organizer set of two I got Haymark Haymarket Paisley Jewel and I got Palm Floral so let's look at these I'll open both of them up so you can see the patterns but I did get some other items in this pattern it's a set of two they're just hooked together temporarily by a plastic thing but basically it looks like a rectangular packing cube with that ripstop nylon so it's that really thin nylon so there's the cube each of them has a handle on the end I really like that I probably will use them actually for shoes when I'm traveling it has the mesh front so you can see what shoes you have in it depending on what type of shoes you're putting in here you could fit multiple pairs of shoes in one pouch just based on the size of my big feet so like if I had some flats and some flip-flops like some especially the Vera flat flip-flops I could probably put several pairs of shoes in here um, it's just a way to kind of group them maybe that's what you want to do or maybe I'll use this pack of two a really good look at that pattern I know the lighting is really bright because it's all unnatural light <laughs> this is my LEDs inside the camper because it's gray and ugly outside right now um, but I do like the Haymarket Paisley a lot I like the jewel as well but I did um, really like the one with the black background and the bright colors uh, this was the option though okay so that and then they have a seatbelt strap in that dark teal to have for the handles so I get those two and they, they all had like rubber banded together like that. They were all rolled. So I will put it back that way. And the other palm floral one is, it's actually kind of a nice, it's a gray base background, like a slate gray for the background, like the handle and stuff. But the florals are kind of nice, sort of subtle, but but bright. I'm not real big on the goldenrod color there, but the purples and grays and whites and it all just kind of goes. Um, that's probably my favorite flower, the purple one, of course. But it's nice. It's just palm florals. So you see like palm leaves mixed in with the stuff. Yeah. Good look on the bottom. That's actually a really good snapshot of the pattern there. Let's see. Oh, but yeah, so there's a different, different snapshot. See the different lighting on the flowers I know that light is really bright okay um, but anyway so that is the shoe storage I might use like one for underwear one for socks um, something like that when I'm traveling we shall see but that is it for this haul I had a really fun time this whole adventure I left Virginia on the 27th of September and uh, spent a few days in Ohio, spent a week in Indiana, and then now several days in Ohio. Tomorrow is my appointment with my specialist, and then it's feet feet back to Tucson, because then I have a couple days turn, drop Kelly off at the doggy spa, and go to LA to catch a cruise. So fun, fun, and lots of wonderful people along the way. If you're one of them, cheers to you. And a shout out to Jessica at the Columbus Vera Bradley store who didn't want to be on film, but did say she could take a shout out. So thank you for helping us today and take care. Bye for now.